Hi, this is Steve Vanderbilt with RegimeChange.org. I want to remind everybody that um, what we talk about here, you can find our supporting documents in our archive at www.regimechange.org. Click the Archive tab. You'll find everything we talk about there. Um, today we're going to talk about the uh, Alan Greenspan Piabolo Ghiotti rule. And it's that rule is how central banks uh, look at how or can tell, or it's a formula they apply to see if a country is going to default on their on their uh, credit obligations. Um, so this is the rules being applied right now on Greece and Spain and it's about to be applied on us here in the United States. So it's something we need to look at. Um, now in 1999 uh, these two world-renowned economists got together and devised this rule and in their language this is what the rule says. Uh, to avoid a default bankruptcy uh, countries need to maintain 100 percent equality between their hard asset and currency reserves uh, to their short-term foreign debt, short-term being uh, one year, debt being, uh, the foreign debt being debt held by um, countries, individuals outside their borders, the national borders. So basically, uh, we look at this rule and this rule states, if you can't pay off your foreign debts over the next 12 months, and it's the ones that are coming due over the next 12 months, you're a horrible credit risk. Um, speculators are going to target your bonds and your currency, making it impossible to refinance your debt and your default is 100% guaranteed or 100% assured. Now, look at this this way. Uh, let's put it in, in common terms for we all, we all can understand. If you're behind on your house payments and they're looking to foreclose on you, and if you can't refinance with your bank or you can't refinance with somebody else, you're going to lose your house. That, that puts a kind of in a common language there that we all can understand. So let's really look at how the U.S. ranks on this rule. Um, <clears throat> the current gold reserves held by the United States is about $300 billion. Uh, U.S. strategic oil reserve is about $58 billion. Those two numbers go up every, up and down every day because oil is speculated and so is gold. Um, and the IMF states the U.S. has about $136 billion in foreign currencies, and that's Euro, uh, pounds, euros, uh, Chinese yuan, uh, Australian dollars, Canadian dollars, etc. All the currencies that we have in our possession, the, gun, the government has in their possession, is about $136 billion. That's... $494 billion. Now, um, the U.S. Treasury states that the federal government has $2 trillion, that's trillion with a T, um, that will mature in the next 12 months. Now, if you liquidate all our assets out of the, across the, the country, that means we're $1 trillion, $506 billion short um, of making that payoff, or paying off the short-term debts. Now, the Office of Budget Management, or Office Management and Budget, budget excuse me, says that we're going to have an additional $1.5 trillion deficit this year, which means we don't have any cash coming in over the next 12 months. So we need to, we as a country need to raise $3.5 trillion to refinance our short-term obligations over the next year. Now, has it hit yet? $3.5 trillion. Now, one thing I want to look at here is basically we're living, we as a country are living off our credit cards. And if the next credit card coming in isn't big enough to help us pay off the rest of the credit cards we've got over the last year, and you've been living off your $5,000 credit cards, and if you don't have another one coming in that's worth, worth $20,000, you can repay those off, you're done. Now, if we liquidate everything we've got in the United States, Government-wise, being hard assets, that means we still have to pay off three trillion six billion dollars. Has that number hit you? No money coming in, living off your credit cards. If you don't get another credit card, you're done. And that's where the government is in the United States right now. So what's going to happen here? Well, what's going to happen is bond values are going to drop. Okay, they're gonna, the major financial institutions, the big three banks, the big banks around the world, they're going to try to push the stock markets up. They're going to speculate the value in stocks up, which is going to cause one, two things to happen. Gold's going to drop in, va in dollar value, and um, <clears throat> oil's going to go up. Then what you're going to see is, in a period of about a week or two, what you're going to see is you're going to see a complete switch. Stock markets are going to drop in value. Everybody's, uh, the big banks are going to get out of stocks. They're going to get into gold. And 
oil, they're going to get in commodities. Okay, and you're saying, why are they going to speculate the stock market up? Because they want to bring the price of gold down. They want to get people who have gold now to sell it and move into stocks. Um, stocks for years have been kind of counterinflationary, but that's no longer true. It, it's Stocks are way over speculated. Um, they used to evaluate stocks based upon the hard value of the company, meaning you take all the components, their assets, your sales, and so on and so forth, and that was their value. Now you have companies that are being traded multiple times their productive value, which does not make any sense. But that's been going on for about the last 10, 15 years. Um, it's not the traditional way of looking at things. The stock market has become a large gamble. It's Vegas. Um, and that's exactly what oil has been going on for the banks also. They've been playing it like Vegas and speculating. But looking at the collapse of the currency, when you want to get out of a, of a fiat currency or a, an asset that has no speculative value to it any longer, you go to something that has a hard value. People need oil, people need food, and people always value gold. Now, it's pretty depressing. You ask yourself, you know, what do I do to fix this system? What do I do to get off this roller coaster? Well, we're all going to have to work together. And what I'm going to say next is going to sound a little crazy. But um, according to the New York Fed, which is the lead Fed bank, there's $829 billion in circulation around the world, most of it being outside the United States, which plays to our benefit. Um, according to the Central Intelligence Agency and a few other places we've checked online, um, there's only about $320 billion in cash inside the continent of the United States. Um, and this is how easy it would be to get this thing to stop. If everybody would go and, over a week or two period of time, go out and cash their check, their paycheck, and just take the money home with them, don't deposit it back into the bank, if everybody did that and paid their bills in cash, the banking system would seize. Now, why am I asking to do that? Well, by getting the banking system to seize, it tells the Federal Reserve, Federal Reserve it needs to stop printing money, and it tells the politicians they need to stop spending money, and they need to come up with a situation to resolve this problem. Um, if you look at a chart from 1913 today, it being the value of the dollar, it is a linear chart that goes up. In other words, the dollar was worth less, more, is worth less today than it was in 1913. One dollar for one replaced in 1913. Now it takes about $24 to replace the same dollar value it was in 1913. We're at like 98%. So if the Federal Reserve keeps spending money, keeps printing money, the dollar you have in your pocket that you pay for your goods and services, that you get for your work that you do, is going to be worth nothing. And the Federal Reserve System and the United States government how they've spent money has basically made it that way. The American economy is, or the American government is about to go bankrupt. Applying their own rule, we're bankrupt. Because no one's going to turn and buy our debt when you're, what, six, eight times eight times your net worth in debt? Has it hit you yet? We'll bring more on this later.